the work that I presented uh, was focused on the concurrent combination of nivolumab, which is a PD-1 blocking antibody, and ipilimumab, which is a CTLA-4 blocking antibody, as concurrent treatment for patients with advanced metastatic melanoma. We know that both of those medicines have activity in melanoma. Ipilimumab was approved based upon phase three trials showing that it extended survival in patients with melanoma. And nivolumab is showing promising activity in, in phase one uh, trials in terms of durable clinical responses. So because of some very strong basic science, uh, there was a phase one trial launched approximately three years ago, uh, combining the two antibodies together. We reported uh, the initial results of this phase one trial at ASCO, and we showed uh, that the response rate across several different dose cohorts of combined nivolumab and ipilimumab was approximately 40%. Um, a significant number of those patients had very rapid and deep regressions of uh, metastatic melanoma uh, with greater than 80% tumor reductions seen at the first imaging, which was done at week 12. We also uh, focused on uh, a dose level which used one milligram of nivolumab and three milligrams per kilogram of ipilimumab. And in that cohort, the response rate was 53%. Uh, there were 18% complete responses, and all of the responding patients had this type of greater than 80% deep uh, tumor regression at the first imaging time point. Uh, so this data really suggested that there is significant activity for the concurrent combination of nivolumab and ipilimumab. And based upon this data, we have launched a phase three trial comparing the concurrent combination with either ipilimumab or nivolumab alone.